in general terms, can you talk about what interest you, what interested you about this job and also working with Coach Dex? I think uh, the University of California and Berkeley has a rich tradition of academics and athletics mixture, and I think that's something that that we look for or I look for in developing an athlete, a guy who's got an ambition to to get his degree at a high level and play football at the, at the same level. And then Coach Dykes, you know, he's a, a, a legendary coach from a standpoint of, of through his dad and his brother and, and then him, and I've known of that family for a long time. And then uh, knowing of the place his son has been, he's done a great job uh, with the offenses where he's coached offense and as a head coach and just being able to be with good people, with good coaches, where we've got a chance to win and, and develop players and, and help them be the best that they can be. What do you think are some of the keys for Coach Dykes and the rest of the coaching staff in building a successful football program here at Cal? You know, I think it starts with developing young players. You get uh, uh, young players in that, that have ability and a desire, and then it's a matter of learning the system that we put in and then everybody coming together as a team and understanding what their role is. I think we all, as coaches and players, Everyone has to have a role and understand what the role is and buy into that. And I think uh, having all of our, our players on the same page and, and being able to uh, all have one mission. What are some of the key elements of your coaching philosophies? You know, I, I think the big thing is just to keep it simple, make sure that players understand what we need for them within our scheme, and then making sure that we play hard and uh, play fast. Speaking of scheme, can you talk about what just kind of defense, what style of defense and schemes we're going to see? You know, we're basically a, a four-man front. We're a four-three system. Uh, we're very multiple because of all the offenses you see, from empty sets to three-back sets, and you've got to be able to adjust that. And one thing that the four-three defense has has withstood through time is the ability to adjust to all the things that college football has brought and changed from a, a matter of the wishbone days. Uh, even now to the fast-paced offenses and the ability to play zone coverage blitz, uh, to be able to go from nickel to dime to uh, big personnel, and it's got to be something that's flexible, and that's the one thing that within our system we've developed through the years. You demonstrated over the years that you're, you have a, an ability to improve a defense quickly. What, what are the keys in being able to do that? I think the biggest thing is is having a staff that's all on the same page, everyone knowing what we're going to uh, do what we're trying to get done and making sure that the players understand uh, the schemes and able to line up and play fast. With offenses the way they are today, you've got to have your calls in and, and lined and ready to go within eight to ten seconds uh, after the whistle blows and the players have got to know what to do and have confidence in it. And I think that's a big key. Now you're obviously uh, just getting started. You're going to have time to look at this more, but when you look at Cal's defense, what, what are the biggest areas you see the need for improvement? You know, I think the one thing that, uh, based on the, the last few uh, years, as I come into Cal, I don't really worry a lot about what's gone on here previously. I take what we have as we start with the players through spring ball and take it from there. I don't gauge anybody on what they've done in their past because for me to uh, say a guy was right or wrong, uh, I don't know what he was asked to do, don't know what he was told, don't know what the system that they were in before was there. So I give everything a fresh slate and, and start you know, from, from day one and work from there and just take guys and, and develop what they have and, and take them from there. You obviously have a lot of experience as a defensive coordinator at the highest level of college football. How much does that experience help you getting started in a new job like this? I, I think it makes a lot of difference. One of the things that uh, college football you have to do during practice during the season and then actually in the game is you've got to have the ability to adjust. And one thing is, is there's a lot of things that I've seen I'm able to recognize uh, a lot quicker than I was maybe 15 or 20 years ago. I'm able to see those things a lot faster now and have the answers already developed of, hey, here, here's what we've got to go to to make the adjustment. What is your first order of business here at Cal? Probably to get to know these players that are on this current team. Uh, you know, I have not had a chance to meet anyone yet of, of, as far as the players. I'm looking forward to meeting those guys, developing relationships with them, and then uh, developing relationships and getting into this recruiting class of 2004, uh, 2014. Personally, tell us what you like as a person. What, what kind of interest do you have? You know, I'm, I'm kind of an outdoors guy uh, with the golf, uh, hunting, fishing. Uh, anything that's really outdoors, and then uh, being able to explore the, uh, you know, th like coming to California will be new for me, being able to explore the, the area and see all the things that, uh, that there are to, uh, to see.
You haven't spent a whole lot of time here. Um, you just kind of touched on about what, what, what type of things are you looking forward to most about learning about Berkeley in Northern California? You know, I've, I've heard a lot about this, this region, uh, and the thing is, is to explore this area. You know, the weather, it's unbelievable for, for me, especially from all the places that I've lived. So I'm looking forward, one, to enjoying that, but just to in, enjoy the, the area and all the, the things, that the, the cultural things that are available here and, uh, and, and being able to explore and learn about a new world for me.